Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlifegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be creating our own dates and changing the values of those dates. Now if you remember from the last tutorials when we created, created a date object we could only get the current date and time. Now we can set our own date and time um, in our object. So let's go ahead and we will declare another variable. So we'll call, we'll declare it uh, change date as date. So now what we can do is we can type current date equals, and to put our date in, we use the pound character, and then we put our date in using the month, day, year format. Now, if you live over in the UK, um, you use the day, month, year, but in Visual Basic, um, you always need to use um, the American way. Uh, I don't know why they do this, but um, it keeps you from confusing them. So there's only one way you can do it, which is month, day, and year. So we'll just go ahead and do October 20th. Uh, and let's do the year 2300. And we'll go ahead and set the, we'll just leave the date at 12 a.m. So we could set the date if we wanted to. So, but instead, if we just leave nothing there, it'll automatically set that uh, date. So let's go ahead and display this date. So message box dot show current date dot to string. If we go ahead and run this, if we click show date, we get October 20th, 2300 at 12 a.m. Now we can also manipulate these dates to uh, add certain values to it. Now we can add days, months, years, seconds, and hours, whatever we want. So let's go ahead and set our change date to um, a changed to current date change. So we'll type change date equals current date dot add. And you can see we get add days, add hours, add milliseconds, add minutes, add months, seconds, ticks, and years. So let's just go ahead and add uh, days here. So how many days do we want to add? Well the value that we pass to this um, sub right here is a double. So let's just use a number. Let's just add five days to it. And then we'll type message box dot show and we will show changed date dot and let's just do two long date string. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that here's our form. And when we click show date, we get October 20th, 2300. Click OK. We get Thursday, October 25th, 2300. So uh, let's go ahead and change this to two string instead. So instead of October, hold on. Instead of October 20th, we get October 25th. So let's just run this one more time. And we'll look at it with the um, exact same formats. So we'll click show date, October 20th, and then we add days, we get October 25th. Now we can also add years. So let's go ahead and add some years to this. Let's add 500 years. Let's go ahead and run this. Show date, we get the year 2300. And in this, we added 500 years, so we get 2800. Now, you can also use negative values inside of the parameters for add anything. So if you want to add seconds or months, you can do a negative. So let's subtract 150 or 250 years from our current date, which should give us the value um, 2050. So we get 2300 and then 2050. So um, go ahead and make some date objects and set them to certain dates that you want. Remember that you have to use the um, month, day, and then year format. And you enclose this inside of pound symbols. And then you can add years or months or whatever you like to the uh, date. And you can um, also use negative numbers. And the argument for that is double. So go ahead, create some dates, manipulate them, make your own dates, um, play with those. And then once you are familiar with those, Go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.